previously on The Next Step. You have been invited to compete at our hip-hop dance extravaganza. We are going to England. Look out, England. Here we come. Hey, uh, I got you something. His name is Latroy. I'm kind of surprised that Amy got Latroy a gift. Does she like him or something? Do you have any ideas? I'm sure we'll think of something. My head is saying this isn't a big deal, but my heart is saying something else. Ever since I started helping Latroy with his contemporary, he's become one of my favorite dance partners. We definitely have a strong connection, and both our styles fused together, it creates something totally new. Amy's approach to dance is so different than mine. She's more technical, more refined. Latroy's dancing is really authentic, really raw. It's not like anyone I've ever danced with. But what's different about us, doesn't matter. We're both powerhouses, and that's why this works. Troy and I have this amazing chemistry. All I can think is how much closer we've gotten and how much I really like him. Let's do something about this. About what? This chemistry. I can't deny there's chemistry between me and Amy. She's confident, she's fun. Girl's just all around awesome. Wow, you just went for it, huh? It's the way I roll. I like the Troy, and I'm pretty sure he likes me. Why not go on a date? So, um, maybe I'll take you out for a movie or something? Um, we can meet at the job junction first? Yes. I love that. <laughs> All right, sweet. <laughs> Bye. All right. I'm actually going on a date with LaTroy. I have to tell Cassie. I have to tell everyone. to make a documentary about my family for a school project. But since my family's all over the world right now, I decided to do the movie on my dance family instead. So I'm just waiting to interview Michelle. Ah, here she is. Hey. Hey. So what's this about again? I told you, it's a school project. OK. I want this film to be unscripted. I want it to be real. I want to get to the truth of who these people are. You've been on A-Troop for a long time now. Yes, I have. I'm a lifer. <laughs> you must enjoy it. Yes, I have enjoyed every single moment of being on A-Troop. No complaints. I don't want to admit this to Piper, but being on A-Troop can be really frustrating. I feel like I'm constantly having to prove myself. But when you started here, you were one of the most celebrated. And then last year, you were an ultimate. Isn't that hard? It just means that this year, I'm going to have to work extra hard. I want to be at the top of my game, and I want to be better than I ever was before. Michelle needs to know where she stands on A-Troop. That's the only way I'll get to the truth. Well, your work ethic is inspiring. All the new girls here, myself included, really look up to you. Really? Yeah, me. I'm blown away. It kind of gives me an extra boost of confidence that I didn't know I needed. You never give up, especially when it gets hard. And you don't mind teaching hard lessons. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I want everyone to see my dance family the same way I do. I can't wait for my next interview. 
Super excited to have a day off, man. Yeah, man. Elton and I are just hanging out for the day because James is off buying souvenirs for all of his sisters. I've been researching the United Kingdom on the internet, and, you know, this is going to be a great day off. Oh, my gosh. This is Stonehenge, bro. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. It totally is. Close. Look at this. I see stones, and immediately I know this is Stonehenge. Dude, Stonehenge is not even in London. What are you talking about? I know Stonehenge when I see Stonehenge. I can feel it. It's vibing with me. It's magical, man. I can feel the energy everywhere. This is Stonehenge. If you close your eyes, you can almost just see the druids erecting these stones. Wow. So much history. This is not Stonehenge. These are just stones. No henge. Watch, I'll prove it to you. Excuse me, sir. Hey. Is this not Stonehenge? Yeah, Stonehenge, right. Yeah. See? I told you. Bingo. I knew it. That's called sarcasm. Just, um, it's not. Just come over here and take a picture. Okay, if I take a photo, can we leave? Oh. Stonehenge. All right, let's go. You missed my kick, bro. That was like the best Stonehenge. part. Stonehenge. I think I'm ready to flex my interview muscles a bit more with my next family member. Noah and Amanda aren't your typical couple. People will want to know why they're together. How did you feel when Noah told everyone you guys were an item? Uh, well, I was a little bit surprised, but I'm just glad everyone knows now. Honestly, I could not believe it when Noah just blurted out that we liked each other. But he was nervous about his back, so I understand why he did it. Well, what made you fall for Noah? Uh, he's tall enough, we have dancing common, just the usual stuff. I'm trying to understand why Amanda likes Noah. I always pictured Amanda with someone more like Elfie. What's Noah's best quality? Uh, you know, um, he's a guy. I'm not gonna tell Piper why I fell for Noah because it's hard to put into words and it's private. We work together and that's all that matters. Maybe one day I'll ask you for dating advice. Uh, you make it sound pretty easy. Just follow your heart, Piper. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I guess love doesn't always have to make sense. If you meet the right person, maybe you just know. Step, knee in. Kick, step, step. Yeah, make sure when you kick, you touch your foot. Latroy and I really found our groove on A Troop. I didn't think our friendship could get any stronger, but it has. Boom. Ha, ta, ta, ta. Yeah. Working with Sloan is always cool. We know each other so well. It's like putting on an old pair of kicks. So let me just go change quick and I'll meet you at the junction? Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to tell you. I'm gonna have to take a rain check on our usual thing. Oh, how come? I got a date. With who? Amy. Amy? Latroy likes Amy? Since when? She's actually a pretty cool girl. She's so cute, powerful, and her dancing. <laughs> Forget about it. Yeah, Amy is a good dancer. Good doesn't even cover it. Like, she's helped taking my dancing to a whole, like, a whole, whole Okay, okay, level. okay, I get it. You like her. What's your deal? Nothing. I just don't need to know every single detail about your personal life. That's it. What? Since when? I don't know, okay? Since now. I don't know why it bothers me so much. Latroy's my friend. Amy's my friend. I should be happy, right? Sloan is really bothering me. She never acted like that before. I think I just need somebody to talk to. Normally, I'm all about dancing with Henry, but right now there's just too much on my mind.
What's up with you? You're doing all the statue stuff again. Why are you so mopey? Nah, man, I just got something on my mind. You got a minute? Is it about your date with Amy? You know about that? The whole studio knows. Your girlfriend's nickname is Miss Megaphone. No, that's not the problem. I'm excited to go on my date with Amy. It's just this really weird conversation I have with Sloan. Like, we were hanging out, then she just freaked on me for no reason. It's never for no reason. What'd you say before she freaked on you? I had to take a rain check on her, and I told her about my date with Amy. Wait, you told her about the date with Amy? Bingo. I know exactly what the problem is. Sloan likes you. <laughs> Henry has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> no, that's not it. Sloan's my best friend. She There's was no your best friend, but it's more than that now. Henry can't be right, but I should check in with Sloan anyway, because something's definitely going on. This is Alfie. That's me. Um, I'm an open book and ask away. Elfie always seems so calm, cool, and collected. But I want to get past that comfortable exterior, down to the real Elfie. Why did you leave your troop in Europe to come to the next step? Um, I guess because the next step is the best troop in the world. After internationals, I couldn't stop thinking about the next step. I knew this is where I had to be. Well, now you're so far from home. Isn't that lonely? Yes, it, it uh, definitely gets lonely sometimes, but then I remember that the world is fairly small. So far, I've just been following my heart, and this is where my heart has led me. Do you think you'll find love here? Is there anyone that interests you? <laughs> um, no. I do like someone at the studio, but I can't act on it. I don't want to cause any trouble. Are we done? Are we good? Sure. Cool. Poor Alfie. He's putting on a brave face, but it sounds like he could really use some friends here. Hey, you know what? Even though it's a day off, we still gotta stay physical. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're here for the Bangers and Mashups International Hip Hop Competition. So although we're having a lot of fun, we have to stay sharp. We gotta stay on top of ourselves, physically and mentally. Exactly. So, uh, you know what we gotta do, right? I know what we gotta do. Hey, hey, ah! The rain can't dampen our fire moves. We are hot. Ah. Hey, hey, ah, hey. Woo! Hey! Oh, snap. Oh, thank you. I can't believe we're getting paid to dance on the streets of London. Oh, I love this country. Oh, this place is amazing. Oh, no, thank oh. you. Hey, stop that. Stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're, we're just dancing. I... That's not dancing. Busking, money. You want to busk? What? There. Not here. It, it was Eldon's idea. It was Wes's idea. Hold on, sorry, who are you? So you... I'm an officer, anti-busking brigade. Um... Busking, busting Bobby. You are illegally busking. I have that money, please. We earned that money fair and square. I'm gonna take you in. There's only one thing to do. Give me the money. Dip. Give me the money. I hope we never see that guy again. So, um, why are you videotaping me again? Well, I was supposed to do a video about my family, but then I decided to do my dance family. You're kind of both. You're not just the studio head. You're basically my sister, too. Aw. Well, I'm happy to be your big sister. I already have big sisters, but you're my favorite. You're my favorite sister, too. <laughs> Don't tell Emily. Is that recorded? No. Riley's actually the reason that I decided to do the documentary. I look up to Riley so much. I want everyone to see how strong she really is. So, Riley, what's it like being studio head? It's great. It feels so natural. Being the studio head is so nerve-wracking. There's so many decisions to make, and I just hope I'm doing things right. What about James? He's, he's been gone for a long time. Yes, um, but you know, he'll, he'll always be in my heart. <laughs> Whatever, lovebirds. <laughs> uh, but you're telling me you never miss him? You never feel lonely? Uh, well, I, I mean, I do feel lonely sometimes especially being studio head and not having him here. Trying to do this without James here is just so much harder. Seriously, 
I miss him every single day. That's funny. You're the second person today who said that they get lonely sometimes. Who else said that? Alfie. Alfie's lonely too? Oh no. <laughs> you guys should hang out. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. This interview's over. Um, I actually have a lot of work to do, so oh, I'm gonna... My feelings for Alfie are complicated, so right now, hanging out with Alfie is definitely not a good idea. I want to tell Sloane that Henry has finally lost it, because there's no way she likes me. Hey. Hey. So, I just heard the most craziest thing from Henry just now. He thinks that you like me. Like, like me. How crazy is that? It's not that crazy. I do like you. I don't really know when I started liking LaTroy, but it feels like I've been liking him for a really long time and I just didn't know it. Like, like me? I know, I'm as surprised as you are, but here we are. Thoughts? When LaTroy says nothing, I immediately regret telling him how I feel. I guess I know what that means. I can't believe Sloane actually likes me. This isn't good. Yo, man. Cheers to a good day. Yeah, man. Yes. Cheers. Alden and I had a pretty good day off, so we decided to treat ourselves to some authentic English tea. Wow. Man. That's definitely the best tea I've ever yes, had. Yes, London's got some top-notch tea. Yo, man. like... Levels. Levels. Yep. How lucky am I that I get to hang out with my best friend in London? Perfect ending to a perfect day. Yo, today was so much fun. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That, like, dance battle thing we did, yeah, a little cypher. Yeah, the game, yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. When me and Wes get together, we get up to some shenanigans. And then there was the busking, busting Bobby. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's, geez. It's a lot of bees there, buddy. That's a lot of bees there. Okay, you know what? Anyways. Forget it. I totally wish that James was here. Yeah, man, I really miss him. Yeah. You know what, you should text him, see what he's up to. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we should mess with him. <laughs> we should totally mess with him. Yeah. I mean, what kind of cafe doesn't allow phones? Uh -huh. Right? Ah! Oh, snap. That's the busking, busting Bobby. B -b how did he find us? You two, second violation. Have you seen this? How did... But, you... Uh, What's that? But you were... This is the second time. You teleported how did... out, out, out. Only one thing to do now. Yeah. Out. Oh. I am so excited to be the first person to watch your documentary. <laughs> uh, you were obviously the first choice. I've assembled my rough cut and I've decided to hold a little test screening to get some feedback. I really trust your opinion. Plus, I uh, needed to borrow your laptop. Right. <laughs> hey, I thought I was the first person to get to see your documentary. I didn't know Alfie was going to be here. Now what do I do? I was watching the footage and I noticed how lonely you guys look, so I decided to invite you both. Come on, let's get cozy. Watching a movie with Riley. Perfect. You Tell me what you think. A long time. Yes, I have. Watching a movie with Alfie. Perfect. Let's enjoy it. What? Yes, I Nothing. I just think I just think it's hilarious how she thinks that we're both lonely. Right? I mean it's crazy. Yeah, this is the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. I can handle this. This is just a movie night with friends. I think it's great. It'll be great. I got some snacks. Scooch over. How are you guys liking it so far? It's great. Oh, look at you guys. You're already best friends. Alfie and I feel like more than just friends. I'm totally confused right now. Troy's being really quiet. I hope he's not having second thoughts about our date. 
Are you okay? Um, sorry uh, that I'm a little bit distracted right now. My date with Amy is going pretty bad. I can't stop thinking about what happened with Sloan. Things got intense between Sloan and I. Do you want to talk about it? Sloan told me she has feelings for me. Do you have feelings for her? No, she's my best friend. I don't even think about her in that way. I like you. Well, I like you too. And if you don't like Sloan that way, and you like me that way, you should date me. Yeah, you're right. I thought the idea of LaTroy dating Amy was bad, but seeing them together is a million times worse. So now we can start having some fun. For sure, yeah. I feel like I just lost two friends.